Well, well, everyone, it looks like it's not a good day for getting a a classic sports car and bringing it to the beach. <laughs> so maybe we'll do one more contact mission. Well, they still got that double money on the go. So they've still got a double money event on the go, and I'm sure they'll bring back some more in the future. And yeah, there's a little lot. See, they got plenty of room to put in a mansion for me. <laughs> See, it's unused space completely. <laughs> All right. Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Wizen Sock. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. Easy contact missions. Yeah. So today we're going to do, um, I think I'm going to do, uh, what is it? Follow the Monet? Get me the Monet? We're going to find out exactly what it's called here. You probably already know from the title where it's, I have to remember. <laughs> so we're going to go into jobs, play job. Uh, probably isn't my recently. Well, I should show you guys anyway. Rockstar created. And then missions. And then all the missions available to you will show up in there. All right. Now we're looking for one that's for Martin. And the Monet is a, uh, a painting, a famous painting. So I think you're stealing some kind of... Uh, there it is. Famous painting for him. Show me the Monet. <laughs> all right. So it's got a good success rating. A lot of people like it. 90%. You know. And uh, it's got a decent payout if you take your time as far as contact missions go. So let's load this one up. Confirmed. Another good thing about this mission, or different thing about it, some missions uh, move you on the map like we've talked about before. And this is another mission that will too. So change it to hard, it's always good to do that. They're rarely any harder. And you get an extra 50% payout. And it's usually better to do it with friends, crew, and more players. That also gives you better payouts as well. Bonus payouts. So you'll see more than what I get here. Although this is the double money event. Doesn't really matter what vehicle you have because you only need it to intercept this van. So we're gonna grab this, excuse me, our new Mustang, <laughs> Vapid Dominator GTX. So like I said, it always spawns you right there, regardless of where you launch the mission. So if you wanted to like, if you were at the top of the map and you wanted to quickly get down here, you could just simply launch that mission and it'll put you right there. All right, so usually I intercept them somewhere along this uh, street that they're driving right now. You can see that blue dot on my uh, map. Depending on how fast you are and how much traffic is in your way, <laughs> um, usually intercept them somewhere from here to the next couple intersections. So our beep pistol's ready. So all you got to do is uh, you don't have to necessarily be too dramatic. You don't have to crash them or anything. Just simply hop out or shoot them from the car. That's that. Hey, <laughs> watch out for the traffic, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll let him get away. <laughs> the guy took too long to get up. <laughs> oh well, can't blame him. You know, he just watched a couple people get blown away. All right, so these guys are gonna attack us, and uh, I'm not really gonna worry about them really if I can help it. Shoot them if you can, if you need to, but they really aren't necessary. You just need to get by them, which you can usually easily do, as you just seen me do. And then hit the highway. And as long as you keep going, you generally should keep in front of them. Now I find it's also best to ride along the side of the highway right here. See how it spawns them on the side? And it's easier for you to keep going this way. If I, if I go over here, they might spawn in front of me. And it's harder to dodge them. See, there's this guy here, and i got to dodge him now. So I find a lot of times if you drive along this side, it's actually quite easy, and they tend to spawn on the other side of the road from you, and you can just keep on driving by. So I did have some body armor, and as you guys can see, it's damaged, so you might want to wear some body armor. Oh, I missed my turn. It's okay. Now there's that helicopter, because we're going to take our time anyway, because you get better payouts anyway. Hmm, maybe I should have backed up. That's a big turn. <laughs> but you can see a helicopter on my map there. Uh, that helicopter I almost find is glitched. It uh, it tends to take a while to get here. See, there it is there. And I find that out of running this mission, say, I don't know, about five times, I find three times, two times, the helicopter doesn't even get to you. Oh, you see, somebody fell off the, 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 uh, the bridge. I guess in their panic, they ran. Now, see the helicopter? He just flew away. I don't know if you guys caught that, but he just kind of flew away. So he's like he has to dodge the bridges and the hills. Yeah. 
So that helicopter, as I was saying, uh, quite often it doesn't come to you. It, it gets kind of glitched and it gets, uh, it takes forever. You know, some missions are like that where, where it gets kind of stuck. I don't know why and what, but it takes forever to get across the map. So many times you don't even have to worry about it. And when it does catch up to you, like this time, so I guess it's good that you guys got to see that because this is the harder way, you know, in a sense, if there is one, when it catches up to you. And as you can see, it's way back there, so it's, it's like not even an issue at all. And if it does catch up, it's not a powerful helicopter or anything like that. And we have one team live down in the bottom right, so we can die once. And you've got plenty of time to, uh, to uh, go into your inventory here and eat snacks or body armor if you need them, if you want to. So, helicopter stuck back there. Like I said, it's a terrible helicopter, so it's really not much of an issue. And as I approach the end here, this little barn, he'll fly away. So, like some other missions, it's almost like there's an invisible circle right here. And that's that. The mission's done. Let's go on the map here. So there's that helicopter there, and he'll just fly off, and I don't know, I think he goes all the way down here and off map kind of thing. It takes him a while. But he spawns somewhere around here in the beginning, and like I said, sometimes he glitches and just kind of flies around here and takes forever. And then sometimes, as you've just seen, he's on to me. But rarely is he an issue. Yeah. Now, at this point, that's it. The mission's done. Drive in there and we're done. Now, some people, like I said, would take your time or spend time talking with friends or whatnot at this point, and, uh, and you'd get a bigger payout. And oddly enough, after you're here, after you arrive here, nobody else will spawn on you. So I'm going to test it out again. So I've driven around afterwards and nobody else spawns. That helicopter drives away, or flies away, I should say. I usually head off the other way, but this time we'll try going back exactly the way we came. <laughs> and then I might click forward to the, uh, to the end for you guys. But yeah, this is the double money event, but I've had to pay out, mm, I think I quickly do it, it's around 20,000, 22,000 or so, give or take. And uh, I've had it uh, pay out over 40,000, 42,000 I believe. Yeah, just by taking my time like I am now, just kind of driving around and stuff, messing around. So some people might load it up and, you know, watch a thing or maybe read a thing or all kinds of different stuff you could do at the same time. Yeah. And the contact missions are a great way to, like I've said before, to make money while you're messing around or, or spending time with friends talking or all kinds of things. Or if you're just sitting around doing something else. Yep. Or if you're a new player, it's a great uh, way of make money. It's uh, like a, in the sense of no investment, no trouble to get in there. It's a great way to learn the game. And a lot of the big businesses that I do, they make good money. But when you really break it down per minute, per mission, they, they aren't really, you know. They're big payouts because you have to wait. Like, say, you know, some of the MC businesses, you have to wait, uh, I don't know, three hours, five hours, things like that, right? And you have supply costs, too. So you might make, I don't know, 200000 let's say, 100000 you know, 300000 When you really, and that's after waiting hours and then running a mission. When you think about it, in contact missions, you could make, I don't know, I'd say 100 to 300,000, give or take. You know, I'd say usually around 200,000 per hour, give or take, uh, depending on the missions you picked. And when you really think about it, that's, you know, better money per hour than the cocaine lockup is for the MC businesses, when you when you think of it as per hour. So, contact missions uh, still make decent money, better than people think. When you're in between things or waiting for your MC cocaine lockup to fill up. <laughs> mission they're obviously better for the businesses you know those big payout missions but uh, but per hour I don't know the contact missions uh, are actually pretty good depending on the ones and uh, it's always nice to have a double money event too yeah so as you guys can see I'm after I get to that area there's no more no more attacks And usually, um, it's hard to say, I've, I've been trying to get a good answer as to what the best payouts, but, but you know, you can go generally up to, I think, around 16 minutes. Some people think uh, they've mentioned four minutes, things like that. It it's, can be hard to tell because it pays out more in contact missions the longer you take. I'm really not uh, I wanted to go somewhere. Oh, excuse me. And I think it was the other way, yeah. 
I'll destroy you. Yeah, so they, they pay out more the longer you take. But there is a point where you're better off to finish the mission. Even though it still could pay you more, you're not getting good money per minute anymore. If that makes sense. So there is that point that people are always trying to debate. When is that point where you're making the maximum dollar without, you know, going too long? Yeah. So I think some people do think it is around four or five minutes. I think some other people think it's around ten. And some people just always go to sixteen. <laughs> oh, I know what we'll do. I haven't been in the graveyard in a long time. If I remember right, there's a spot. I wonder if it's... I haven't checked on it in, uh, in online. I don't know if it's still there. Yeah, it's there. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. I think we can do it. I think we can. <laughs> we want to be able to stand behind there, beside there. <laughs> New, 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 new. Oh. Maybe not. Oh. Do we not have enough room? Apparently we don't have enough room. Do I no, I, I was going to say I still have windows in the back. That's crazy. <laughs> Till I break them. That one was already cracked, though. <laughs> there we go. There you go. In you go, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for playing. <laughs> I'll be taking the painting. Here we go. Let's check in on that helicopter. Whew. Yeah, he's uh, way off map. <laughs> way, way off map. All right, well, let's take in the painting. We uh, made our money. Later, passenger arrest. <laughs> Nobody witnessed anything. It's a good day. Whoa. Except for that. <laughs> yeah, it didn't hurt too much. It didn't hurt. <laughs> we'll be all right. All right, well, I'll head back there. I'll bring you guys back in a moment. All right, here we are. Better late than never. <laughs> yeah, we get paid by the hour, so, you know. It uh, took a while to get here. We had to stop for a coffee break. Get rid of the body. <laughs> then I had to call my mother. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. <laughs> well, belated yesterday. <laughs> it, was, it was busy, Martin. I just had to take care of things. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, this is the end of uh, Show Me the Monet. So as you guys can tell, it's a super easy one. It's a little bit more uh, action than some of the other ones we covered. But it really, that action's deceiving. If you ask me, it's pretty easy. Those guys really aren't much of a threat. The helicopter really isn't much of a threat. Sometimes it's no threat at all. Um, yeah, and it's up to you if you guys want to take your time or do it fast. Let's finish your F. You don't have to back in. <laughs> but I like to. <laughs> we passed. All right, and thirty-eight thousand just for messing around. And they do have good rank up points. It is a good way to rank up the contact missions when they're on the uh, double RP events. All right, <laughs> bounty. It's a good time for me to uh, do contact missions <laughs> on invite-only sessions. <laughs> Uh...
Where's my car? Over here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again soon for the next one. Hopefully tomorrow will be a sunny day and we can get ourselves a new Ferrari. The uh, Stinger, while it's still on sale. Seems my problem was dealt with. We'll be in touch very soon. Good dear, Martin. Good dear. See you soon, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. See you again next time, everybody. Woo! Checking in on my businesses. Maybe run ahead of a headhunter. And then maybe something else.